Tip number one, never leave any sort of food cooking on the pan. Because if you do, for too long it will start a fire. Like you see now, you can see the banana starting to burn. If I left it on for too long, it would start a fire and my whole ship would slowly sink. So to all you newer players, please don't do this. Because if you leave your ship unattended, it will sink. Tip number two, if you ever see any red barrels such as these, these are called gunpowder barrels, also known as kegs, stay away from them, do not take them on your ship. If a player gets on your ship and he swipes this with the sword, a one shot is all it takes to blow your ship into smithereens. Please, for the love of God, stay away from these barrels. Tip number three. Never lower your anchor because it takes ages to get back up and if you get run up on by an enemy while you're raising your anchor the mast will be down, he'll be shooting cannons all over your ship and you'll just be screwed. Instead raise your sails like this. This way you can lower them quickly and you can get out of a situation really quick so you don't have to worry as much. Tip number four, this may very well be the most important tip on this list. Turn off your lanterns. If you don't, other players will see you from a mile away. It is a great way to support other players if they're stupid, but you don't want to be a stupid player, so turn off your lanterns. Tip number five, do not stack loot or voyages as a new player, because if you stack too much, you'll end up sinking and you'll lose all that loot. So I recommend after one, maybe two voyages, sell out immediately. You don't want to risk that hard earned loot that you got. Tip number six, stay away from this hourglass mode. As a new player, there's a load of sweat on this mode. Uh, you just don't want to do it because you'll just keep sinking, sinking, sinking. There's too many sweats on this mode. Just stay away from it. After a while of practice, you could probably start going into this mode. You can get some pretty cool cosmetics from it, but stay away from it as a new player. Tip number seven, the jump sword lunge. Compared to the normal sword lunge, you can go a lot further with this one. Essentially, what you got to do is, before you lunge, hold block, then lunge, and then just before you actually lunge, press the jump button, and then you should do it. This is useful if you want to get further in water and it's good for new players because a lot of new players use swords and it's just easy for them and it's good to learn this tip. Tip number eight, choosing the right ship size is the most important thing in Sea of Thieves. If there's only one of you, choose the sloop because if you choose the galleon, it'll be just too hard to control for one person. So the sloop is perfect for one to two people. The Brigantine is good for two to three people and the Galleon is four person, so choose wisely. Tip number nine, never wear bright clothing unless you're an experienced player because it will be easier to hit you with snipers or one shot with cannonballs if you're on cannons and it's dark, it will just be way easier to aim at you, it's just it. You're putting yourself at a disadvantage, just don't do it. Tip number 10. This is similar to the last one, but never put on bright and visible cosmetics, because same as the last one, it will just make you stand out more, and players will come to attack you more often. It is a lot safer to just wear darker cosmetics, for example the Black Pearl set. Tip number 11, do not eat bananas unless you have to, instead eat anything else, coconut, bananas are the worst food in the game, coconuts are a bit better, then it's pomegranates, then it's mangoes, then it's pineapples, mangoes heal you for half health, coconuts for a quarter, mangoes I think half, yeah I said that, and pineapples for full. Tip number 12, do not put up the flag of the reaper's mark, it marks you on the map for other players to see. You, if you put this up, you're asking for a fight, so don't blame anyone else if you put this flag up and you get attacked. Tip 13, this is similar to the last one, 
don't put up the Reaper's Emissary if you're a new player because it will mark you on the map for everyone to see except this one you level up and if you sell at the Reaper's Hideout then you get multiplied rewards but it's very dangerous don't do it as a new player. Tip 14 any weapon cosmetic that you buy doesn't give you more damage it doesn't deal more damage so don't be thinking that it's unfair and just buy the ones you like because they look cool. Uh, like I said, they don't give you any more damage, so just get the ones that you think look nice. Tip 15. If you're getting attacked, instead of repairing straight away, you can go down and bail, bu bail with a bucket just like I'm doing here. I did press Scott's ship so I couldn't save it, but if you're being attacked, it's sometimes better bail water instead of go straight to repair. Tip 16. When you die, don't wait for it to spawn you on the ferry. Hold Y or whatever button you do on your console or PC to teleport to the ferry. The damage you will respawn quicker this way. Tip 17. Never use chunky cannons. This will uh, make your aiming worse with your cannons and it will just make life so much harder. Instead, use nice use the cannons that you're comfortable with try out different ones like i did personally personally i like the black pearl ones they make me hit the most shots some people like um, the reaper ones with the little bit on the top to help them aim it's honestly personal preference but just find the ones you like and use them tip 18 aim for pirate legend this is what everyone is aiming for in this game you have to reach level 15 three factions so for example gold hoarders merchants and order souls this is the cutscene i'm not going to spoil it i'm going to cut right before the thing happens tip 19 emissary tables you have to reach 15 in any faction to get to be able to purchase an emissary flag then you can lower it and re-raise it or raise it and lower it and every time you sell to that specific faction with that uh grade grade one two three or five four or five you'll get um more rewards for m more money rewards so it's a pretty good thing so try level up to at least 15 in every faction and get all the emissaries because they're really useful This emissary, this blue emissary here, only unlocks after you reach Pirate Legend. Tip 20, double gunning. This is for more experienced players. Uh, I'm still trying to do the quick, quick swap thing where you swap them really quickly, but this mechanic is pretty useful. Like, it's really good, but you have to be pretty good to use it too. So, it's not for newer players newer players should use swords they're just easier to use but after you think you're ready you should definitely try double gun tip 21 chain shots these things can knock down masts pretty easily usually one shot except on sloops to take two to the mast and these things you want to shoot them a bit higher than you would with cannonballs like aim a bit higher because chain shots are heavier than cannonballs so you do want to aim a bit higher. Chain shots are incredibly good for fights. Uh, they can completely turn a fight around if you knock the other person's mass down. They are really useful. So I recommend stocking up on them but, uh, in the outpost barrels. Hello, I hope everyone enjoyed and if you're listening, please would you consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to my hardest to make these videos and please check out some of my other ones on my channel. Thank you.